What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live episode number 75 on the channel and in today's episode we're going to be trying out um, some more of the OU suspect ladder and to be honest, um, if copyright wasn't a thing, I'd be coming out to the music We Ready because that'd be pretty sick. We ready, we ready, we ready for ya. Alright, so anyway. Um, I, I, I'm gonna spare you guys me singing more of that song, um, cause I'm like actually really hype right now. This is the closest I've ever gotten in the OU suspect test, and any of the OU suspect tests. I got up to 2400 once, but I am only 86 coil points away from getting to the top. Um, on my way here, I've had to battle CPC, I had to battle Chimpact, um, hit We Came As Romans twice. Um, so we're gonna hope that we can finish this one off right here. Um, okay, looking at this guy's team, if I get rid of Scizor and I weaken Manaphy, then Free Pebble sweeps. Uh, Manaphy will only take like 50-ish percent from a Moonblast, um, so I do need to weaken it, but as long as I have this, it shouldn't be too hard, because as long as I predict the switch into Magnezone, click Focus Blast and get that thing out of the way, that will be very helpful for me. So uh, he's going to go ahead and lead with his Lando right here. Um, I don't see anything else on his team with rocks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say that this is his rocker. Um, unless he just doesn't have rocks. It's just weird, which would be weird. Um, he also doesn't have a lot of switch-ins and a Gyarados. Um, the switch-ins that he does have are pretty limited. Um, yeah, so I just taunt him right there as he cannot get his rocks up. So very good start. Um, and as long as this takes two switch-ins to rocks, I believe I can knock it out with a moon blast. Actually, since it's bulky, it has to be like 70-some percent. But I'll probably click uh, close combat just because I don't want to miss Stone Edge right here. And uh, yeah, so he just EQs me right there. He's actually Life Orb Landorus, so that's pretty cool. Um, good that I know that now. <laughs> and I know that he's not some sort of choice variant or he's not Earth Plate or whatever. But I'm just going to click close combat right here. If he tries to go out in Latios and wants to defog away my rocks, uh, I'm just going to go for the stealth rocks again. Um, I am a little worried about just clicking Draco, choice Draco uh, versus him. That did 26%. That's respectable. Is he going to U-turn? No, he just goes for the stone edge. Good play. Um, but now um, Oakland gets in free. Thunderous gets in, which I don't think is something he wants. Um because I can just click HP Ice right here. I don't think there's a whole lot of reason for him to save this because uh, both of my remaining physical attackers are water types. Um, and I think that's one thing that I really like about this team. Um, it really matches up well versus Landorus. Um, but I'm just going to click HP Ice right here. If he wants to go out into Mag, so be it. Uh, Mag is probably Scarfed. Because um, I doubt he would run Scarf Lottie. Scarf Lottie's not as common. Or he may just not have a Scarfer and be just unburdened Slurpuff. Um, but he also doesn't have a Steel type to trap on my team, so Mag may be pretty dead weight this battle. Even though I have zero switch ins to it. Um, oh man. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm just going to fire off the HP Ice, get rid of Landris, even the score at 5 5. Um, if he goes out in a Latios, which is very possible. I'm going to go out in Azumarill. And the reason I'm going to go out in Azumarill is because I feel pretty, I, I feel pretty safe clicking uh, Play Rough right here. Um, because Play Rough will um, knock out Latios if he goes into it. And uh, I can live any hit from Magnezone pretty easily. Uh, he goes into this, though. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Um... Is Latios my switch in? I think Latios is my switch in. Um, he's more than like 100% guaranteed Mega Scizor. Unless he's Mega Latios, but highly, highly doubt that this high on the ladder. Um, so he, don't go for Flash Cannon, he goes for T-Bolt, it's easy. <laughs> um, his switch in is probably going to be Scizor, to be honest. I don't think he's staying in right here. Um, it's a risky double to go straight into Thunderous. It's not as risky to go into Azumarill, though. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, if he T-Bolts again, that's really lame. But I don't think he wants to risk me being Earthquake and just knocking him out. Um, don't go for T-Bolt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would have been bad had I stayed in. That's innovative. That is like actual straight innovation. 
Um, I'm just gonna go for the superpower right here. That actually did a lot. Oh my god. And that didn't even kill. You are a bulky Magnezone. I'm, I'm gonna click uh, Aqua Jet though. Um, if he goes into Slurpuff, the plan is... Oh god. What do I have for Slurpuff? Help me. Uh, probably Sack Azumarill. Um, then go into Thunderous and T-Wave. Yeah, I think that's my plan. Um, actually, will I outspeed with Scarf Latios? That'll be something that I have to look at. Um, if he's not running max speed, I may be able to just outspeed him. Uh, go for the play rough right here, then Psy Shock him and knock him out. Um, because Scarf Latios may not be super important for me for the rest of the game. And I actually do need Thundee healthy in order to beat Manaphy. She just goes straight out into. Um, so I'm going to go into Latios right here. And as weird of a play it is, as it is to try to trick away my Scarf right here when I may be able to use it to beat Slurpuff. Um, if I do trick this thing a Scarf, it becomes a lot easier for the rest of my team to deal with. Um, especially if he's like CM whatever. CM Rain Dance. He's tail up. Okay. <laughs> Panic. <laughs> um, he has to go for Ice Beam, right? I'm just going to trick him. If he goes for the Rain Dance, that's fine. Or if he's like Resto Chesto. Because I don't see lefties. Is he Life Orb? Is this a choke if I trick? Go for Tail Glow again. Or go for the rest. He's Citrus. Goes for the Ice Beam. There we go. That's actually really nice for me. Because I'll be able to live this hit. I can just fire off the play rough. Um, I should be able to live too. Because I'm like Max Spadef AV. <laughs> so, <laughs> um... I'm, I'm Thick Fat Azumarill. No, um... But I should just be able to play rough here, get some good damage on this. Um, it's actually really lame if I miss, or if he two it KOs. He should only do like 17%. 21, okay, that's bad. It's really bad. Um, I guess I'll just have to let Gyarados take some more damage. I'm going to Aqua Jet um, on the off chance that it kills, or if I crit him or whatever. It won't kill, but um, that may have been a choke tricking that away. Because now I just sacked Azu for little to no reason. But you know what? I'm going to go into Gyarados. Um, actually, no. He'll probably still be able to knock me out uh, to it KO me if I Dragon Dance, which is really lame. But I'm just going to go for the bounce right here. Because um, if he does try to go into this, he risks Para. Um, although I don't think he'll switch out at this point. Um, I have weakened Mana Fee sufficiently. Although I think I'm going to lose. Jesus, that did a lot. Okay, please hit. Please, for the love of God, hit. Because I actually need this. Um, <sighs> nice. Okay. Um, what I could have done right there is gone into Thundee and T-Waved um, and just sacked Thundee or hoped for the para full para, which would have been kind of a garbage play. But um, I think I lose here. I should have gone into Thundee probably. Um, but we'll see if I pick up any points for winning. I'm actually going to check where I'm at right now so that I can see where my, where my thing is later. Um, no, I need 100 whatever points. No, it's only 2,700. You right. Uh, I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance right here on the off chance that he defogs. Um, not wanting to give Deancey a free switch, which is possible. And sorry, phone went off. Too fame. Uh, <laughs> um... Please go for the defog now. He just went for Psy Shock. He made the right play. Um, so I'm going to go into Free Pebbles. I don't really have... Oh, wow. Hit my mic. My bad. I don't really have any choice. Um, I can't... I don't have the luxury of scouting at this point. Man, I wish I still had Gera. <sighs> Should have gone out to Thundee. Dang. Regret. It's okay. Uh, I'm just going to Mega Evolve and click Moonblast right here because this will knock out Latios. Um, I, I wouldn't put it past it to have Surf. Um, it would actually be really handy. To break down Heatran and stuff. Um, she stays in, goes for the energy ball. There it is. So, you know, can't win them all. It's okay. Um, we'll see where our coil goes, and then we'll probably grab another one. Um, the biggest issue for me when I'm laddering, I feel like a lot of it's mental. Um, I feel like I can play with people enough to. Um, I feel like I can play with people and not get just straight out played the entire time. Like, I feel like this was a winnable match. I feel like I mentally played, like, I played poorly. Um, that does that didn't kill. Miss, miss, miss! <laughs> he just went for the side shock. Good game. Um, so we're gonna check my rank real quick. Uh, 2600, so I lost 14 cold points. Alright, it's time to get a dub. Alright, 
refresh. All right, new mindset. Last game was last game. This game is this game. Um, I'm probably gonna pause it until we find one. If we don't find one within the next couple of seconds, oh, look at that. We have a game versus Quinta. Uh, La Quinta. <laughs> uh, this match is sponsored by La Quinta. Anyway, Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill Sandoff. All right. Got to weaken this. Got to pop this air balloon. Got to weaken this to 70%. Because that'll die to earth power at like 80 some percent. If that should be gone. Um, that'll die to moon blast. That'll die to moon blast. That'll die to diamond storm. That'll die to diamond storm. Cool. I'm going to lead with uh, Terrakion though. Because his only two rockers get blown back by Terrakion. Which is pretty nice. Um, if he leads Azu. Then that's actually really scary. But I highly doubt he's going to lead Azu. Um, he ends up leading Beedrill. Which is fine. Um. He is a he has balls of steel if he just mega evolves and clicks U-turn. Although I highly doubt he's gonna do that. I feel like he's gonna click protect this turn, and then I can just click close combat versus whatever and uh, threaten whatever comes in. Um, if he doesn't have protect here, if he if he doesn't go for it, and I missed my chance to just pick off Mega Beedrill turn one, I'm gonna be so pissed because that would help me so much down the line. Um, but I think the safest play for me is to go for my rocks. Um, cause then I get for sure a free attack off and, uh, yeah, he goes for the protect. There it is. Um, you know, I'm glad that happened as opposed to something else. I'm going to click uh, close combat though. Cause I don't think he's staying in. I'm almost hundred percent sure he's U-turning. Um, and he doesn't have a whole lot of switch ins to Terrakion's coverage. He could try to go Talon, but Talon gets worn down really easily. Yeah, he just U-turns doing a third. Oh my God. Um, he could go into Keldeo predicting Stone Edge, because Stone Edge would be the play right here, because uh, it does knock out Beedrill. Um, if he goes into Azu, that's a little disappointing, because uh, I need to beat or like weaken Azu. Um, but it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Um, my Azumarill actually puts in a lot of work this game. If Beedrill switches into Rocks twice, it should die to an Aqua Jet. Um, Keldeo dies to play rough. Tyranitar dies to play rough, and um, Excadrill dies to Waterfall, so... Um, come on, friend, make a move. <laughs> You're making me nervous. Um, he ends up going out into a zoom roll right here. So it looks like I'm just getting damage. 32%, you know, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to click Stone Edge on the off chance that he waterfalls. I could go into Lottie predicting Aqua Jet, um, but I just don't feel like it's worth it, to be honest. Um, Terrak could be useful, but like I said, it's just like really not worth the risk. Oh, yeah, because see right there. Did he belly drum? No, I just... Ah, easy! <laughs> that helps a lot. That's... Go oh, God, I clicked Stealth Rock. Click Stone Edge. Stone Edge! Um, is Close Combat my safer play? 32? Yeah, Close Combat's my safer play. So I'm just going to click that. There, that's kind of lucky. That's garbage. Um, but when... If this was low ladder and it was easy for me to just start over, I'd be like, that's garbage. Um, you're clearly more prepared. So I just knock him out with the close combat. So Azumarill is down, despite the fact that I haxed it. Um, Talon is maybe a switch right here. Um, Thundy also tears him up. Oh my god. Um, if, I, if I find a way to get Thundy in, then it's like something's dying. I don't have a safe switch into this. I'm clicking close combat. Um, maybe he, like, SDs right here <laughs> predicting my switch. But at this point, I'm fairly certain he's like, yeah, he's sacking Terrak. Because um, it actually doesn't make much sense for him not to click Aqua Jet right there. I, he probably thought I was trying to switch. So, you know, good decision by me not to do that. So, um, we'll see what he decides to go. I'm, I'm assuming he's just going to U-turn and knock me out. He's probably calcing to see if U-turn kills. And I think at minus two defense, it does. Because uh, regular does 33%, then minus one should do 66. And, or yeah, it'd, be, it'd do like 50 some, and then this should get him up to 66. But um, he just ends up going for the poison jab. Good play, uh, knocking me out. Um, I can go out to Gyarados here if I really want to. I think that's a pretty good play. Because it threatens again a large majority of his team um it'll this this should just die to a waterfall like i don't want to reveal the fact that i'm scarf lottie yet um and plus if i am if i do go into lottie i have to make the double into gyarados or something or really a zoom predicting um this 
to come out but i'm just gonna go for the waterfall right here um if he decides to go into keldeo so be it um because then i could go because if he goes into keldeo it's a lot more it's a lot easier for me to go either straight into azu or to go lati azu so um because i don't want my latios to get trapped this match or my latios because it does revenge kill beedrill uh, late game it can take one brave bird from talonflame he goes for poison yeah don't poison me thank you bye beedrill thank you <laughs> that actually really helps a lot um so now i set up on talon um with dancy and things are looking nice things are looking really nice um because i can prevent driller from coming in as long as I go into Azu on Titar, or like, yeah, yeah, because um, my so I could explain this to you guys. So what's going on? Um, he goes into Keldia. Okay. All right. Let me think about this for a second, because there's two scenarios right here. Scenario one is I go out into Latios or Latios. My bad. Uh, so he goes for the Scald. And then I double to Azu. Scenario two is he makes the double straight to Tyranitar. Um, I think I have to go to Latios first because as nice as um, as nice as Keldeo is versus or as nice as Latios is versus Keldeo, um, and the fact that it can get trapped, I I do need Azu not burned. Um, so he ends up just going for the Hydro. That did way too much. Um, that is specs. And he'll die right here, so I'm going to go straight out into Azumarill, uh, because I can threaten T-Tar if he does go out into it. Um, and I lose nothing by going for Waterfall in that scenario, because nothing actually switches in. Um, knowing the fact that he specs helps me a lot. Um, and I really think he'll switch. There it is. Yeah, I wasn't about to get trapped, so. Uh, I'm just going to go straight away for the Waterfall. Um, oh, man. Come on. You can do this, Geo. Um, I, I would like Aqua Jet later to, uh, break this thing's air balloon if it does have it, or just to get enough prior damage off. Um, surviving sand is going to be hard for me, especially if he's smooth rock, which I'm assuming he is, because he, he may just be spinning drill and be like Bantar or Scarftar. Um, there it is. Give me my damage. Uh, I'm going to go for Waterfall again, just because I don't really lose anything by it. I have to go for Waterfall. Um, the fact that Latios is at 50% is kind of lame, because then it just, Okay, he just goes for his rocks. That's even lamer. That really limits Gera. Oh, God. I'm going to get swept by sand. Because I don't think he... Lo he could just go into Talon here and just bust me up. He goes into Drill. I'm clicking Jet. I don't have any reason not to. Uh, this is going to do a lot of damage. If he spins here, that's amazing. Like, that is actually beautiful if he goes for the rapid spin. Although, I don't think he can risk it. Oh, that beat. That did 74% spin. Oh, he EQ'd. That's fine. He's Life Orb. Yes. Yes. That is beautiful. I can dig it. Uh, I'm going to go into Gyarados. I'm going to cut. This is such a garbage play. I'm going to hope that. Wait, does he have to spin right here? Uh, Talon is under a lot of pressure if he doesn't spin. Like, a lot of pressure if he doesn't spin. Uh, I'm going to go for the waterfall right here. And uh, if he just rock slides, then I don't know what the next thing I sack is. Hmm. I could try to go DNC, then Thunderous. Because um, as long as I have DNC and Latios healthy, I should be able to win the game. Given that I get this 50-50 right... Um, when it comes to switching in but i kind of feel that he has to spin right here because um he would like thunderous or he would like talonflame healthy so it can just flare blitz thundy and not have to worry about dnc coming in but he could also be steel wing uh talonflame like sharp beak steel wing and i just lose oh god i'm nervous don't do this to me <laughs> my team actually doesn't match up very well against sand so i'm surprised it's done this well um it's actually like the fifth or sixth sand team i've seen uh, seen like four or five rain teams a uh, lot of balance. I, I haven't hit a stall team yet. That's beautiful I'm gonna hit a stall team next battle now that I'm saying that but um, Come on come on Quinta what you doing he ends up going for the rock slide I'm actually gonna check my rank um, 
just because I'm paranoid. I'm 2600 even, 77 GXC. Sounds good. Um, so I'm going to go to Deancey right here. And then I'm going to go to Thunderous. And the reason I'm going to do that is because even if he rock slides right here, I think Latios is my best play after that. Um, because Latios will be able to pick off Keldeo with the cell sh with the Psy Shock. Not the Cell Shock, the Psy Shock. Um, and Deancey can tank a hit from Talonflame. So, going to Thunderous. Um, I kind of feel as if he has to Iron Head right here. We'll see, though. Um, if he does end up iron heading, I think I've won the game. Just because... Although this is really obvious. This is painfully obvious. Um, don't don't rock slide. Iron head. Beautiful. Beautiful. Because now I T-wave whatever comes in. Uh, I force him to go for Brave Bird with Talon. Or he, get, or he just sacks Keldeo. Either one of those. Um, so, I think that's the game. I think that's the game. Um, that won't get me to 2700 coil. My hope is that it gets me to 20 or 2640, because uh, then it just becomes a lot easier for me to manage. Um, he has 90 or he or she has 90 seconds left. Is this Gator? Because I know Gator uses uh, that avatar, but I highly doubt it's Gator. Um, overall, I think this team is pretty cool, but I also think Mega Deancey is just stupidly broken. Okay, dude, you did. 45% to Latios. I, I'm clicking T-Bolt. <laughs> You're dead. Bye bye um, If this is some sort of ploy to be able to, like... I don't understand this play. Felt like Talon was the play. Because you could at least kill me with Brave Bird. The Brave Blast. <laughs> but anyways, so... Keldeo just goes down. Um, I suppose he's just trying to rack up enough recoil to where he knows he'll kill me with a brave bird but this point doesn't really matter if he's steel wing i'm gonna be really disappointed um but he goes into talon he has no reason not to click uh brave bird but i'm just gonna t-wave anyway in case he's like sub bulk up or something or like spadef roost talon flame but judging by his team variant he's very hyper offensive and he is not uh, the spadef talon even though spadef talon i think is a pretty cool set um it does a really good job of shutting down volt turn but uh brave bird right there what's your item okay and i feel like i can just go into deancey and uh click diamond storm Oh, if I miss, if I miss, I'm going to be so mad. I almost don't want a Mega. Um, we're going to go ahead and calc what a Steel Wing will do from a Talon. All right. Talon Flame. Let's say your Sword Stance um, versus Deancey. Where is Deancey? Um, Steel Wing. Steel Wing will do 64 to 78. So I'm not going to Mega Evolve. I'm going to go for the Diamond Storm. Um, because it's a roll if he kills me with Steel Wing at this point. If I miss, I'm going to like I'm gonna be some sort of angry. Um, yeah, he goes for the SD. As I just knock him out with the Diamond Storm. So that's a good game. Um, I, th I thought those were two, very, two pretty good games. I should have won the first one. But I'm glad I was able to rebound with the second one. Um, rank... 26 20 that got, that got me 20 points help um my gxe went up which is good though so uh if you guys did enjoy pokemon showdown live number 75 please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for the stuff that i'm doing here on the channel also make sure to answer today's comment question of the video you know i kind of want to just do a pokemon one for this one because non-pokemon ones are a lot harder to think of um i don't know uh are, are you guys going anywhere for spring break um I don't know if I'm going anywhere yet, to be honest. Um, but I'll probably make an update video of sorts if I'm leaving. But are, do you know if you get, if you guys are going anywhere for spring break? That's coming up. I'm excited for that. But uh, anyways, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.